Hello and thanks for joining us on Saba Africa on Kakati the African Voice and I am Bayero Agari. For latest, please watch us on YouTube slash Saba Africa TV. When Shugwe Legwede graduated from a Nigerian university, like his contemporaries, he began the search for employment. After months of searching, he got some job that could pay him enough salary to feed. But what about paying his bills and attending to other vital needs of a young Africa who perhaps has siblings and parents or even extended family members to cater for? But after searching for a job, looking up and down, I couldn't find it. And even the little I found, uh, there is no satisfaction. I didn't derive any satisfaction there. So I think I actually came back, sat myself down. That what, actually, what can I actually do for myself, you know, instead of moving up and down on uncertainty? So that's the reason why I, I mean I came to my conclusion that well it's my discipline. I've always have passion for animals, mm. so I concluded that I actually want to come into farming fully. As you would soon discover, there is more to life than working and earning just anything. A graduate of animal production and health, he begins to think of practicing what he studied. Yeah, I'm very proud of what I'm doing actually. Very very proud of it because you know I I resume my work. I resume like I'm, I'm actually, you know, going to going for a white collar job. I resume eight o'clock, like normal every other person that are going to to work, and you know I can actually leave anytime I want since I have people working for me. My is just to make sure everything is fine, provide the feeding, the drugs are intact, the animals are well fed, and I can actually move out to search for any other thing because I do consult for people too. So I'm very happy with what I do. Shogo says the internet helps him stay abreast of innovations in animal health care, while the social media has provided a free platform to advertise his products. Now he is going to tell us how technology helps the overall business. Uh, it promotes uh, what I'm doing to start from this BlackBerry Messenger BBM. You know, if I actually have any products, I'm into dog breeding too. And if I actually have any products, I actually post them on my uh, on my profile, you know, coat the hedge, the size, the breed, and before you know it, I receive so many, uh, you know, uh, requests on it. Aside from that, even on my Facebook uh, profile, the same thing. Then, uh, like, uh, like, if I need to, ha I mean, get some information on my animals, it might be probably I'm actually confused on a particular disease, or I'm looking for or an improvement on the particular uh, drugs I've been using before. You know, I can actually go to, to the web, to, you know, to, to, to check for all this information. Like, for instance, I, I have an animal that actually behaved funny some weeks ago, and I've actually used a couple of drugs I've been using for others, you know. So I decided to go on the net to actually check, because the symptoms I, I, was, I was saying it was quite different from the one I used to see before. This big grimmer looked dirty. But the business is a lucrative one, as this farm is host to about 5,000 pig farmers who get patronage from across Nigeria and neighboring West African countries. Although Shogo refused to say in camera what his turnover is, I must tell you, this young man would probably be better as an employee in most companies in the country. Another story of a young entrepreneur leveraging on technology to grow is that of Ken Ezago who once was a salesman employed in one of the tech companies in Nigeria. But he tells us that the desire to create opportunities for others pushed him into setting up his own business. Since I've been small, I've always been thinking of solutions. How can I, what can I do to, you know, to be, you know, to assist people, to, to offer a solution. So I came out of school, I, I basically, I'm now, I didn't study ICT, I started as a salesperson salesman i said that is a uh, sales representative at first it was you know i was being paid ten ten thousand dollars as a graduate i was just walking around practicing it while i was doing it i was also seeing it as something i think this is what i want to do i was just learning from it I started my business with zero naira 
it was more like um you know thinking thinking out of the bus like i always go to my clients i you know i started this this uh what i'm doing now from sen selling antivirus so in that sense i'm saying youths out there man so, some anybody can you can think of, of what to do yeah. it can take you years like me what i did i you know i it took me like almost three years to even start getting business you, you know the key thing is just being resilient and determined today ken offers it services to SMEs and even big organizations in Nigeria. That's it on South Africa this week. For more information and reports, please watch us on youtube.com slash TV. And now back to the Kakaki Studio. Bye for now. Hello, I'm Bayero Agabi. As we face the new society driven by data and information, Cyber Africa provides you a trusted platform. Here we understand how telecoms, the internet and the media are redefining our world. From music to tourism, politics to business and education to governance. That's why Cyber Africa trusts you to trust us as we bring you the initiatives, the issues, the actors and the role of ICT in Africa's development. For details, log on to www.aitinfotechnetwork.com or email bayeragabi at aitinfotechnetwork.com or better still, reach AIT Head Marketing, Lagos or Abuja. Cyber Africa, connecting Africa with the new age at this time.